Chris, you've used the word ridiculous before in this type of defeat, and I think it's the best description, isn't it, of what's happened today? Uh, well, Gav just said to me there, he said this time, well, last season, he said Carlisle got absolutely hammered and we, we won 1-0. So sometimes it's somebody else's uh, uh, mark against them, I suppose. I don't know. But uh, we had plenty of chances. Had a great first chance, obviously, for young Ethan to get off uh, his full debut with a goal, but good serve. I know he's disappointed with that because he, he backs himself in their moments. But yeah, lads kept going, uh, constant uh, pressure. Again, a little bit like last week, Southend's goalkeeper was excellent, but we managed to break him down this week. Scunthorpe's goalkeeper had a great game. I don't know how he saved John Mellish's header, and of course Lewis Alexander's shot, but he did. So that's a simple fact. So yeah, we've had more shots, more corners, more pressure on the opponent, um, but we've been beaten. It is massively disappointing, isn't it, that we haven't converted some of those really good chances so that we're talking differently right now? Yeah, of course it is. This sport's all about winning. Uh, mad, really, but it happens. Um, it's going to get the first win of the season. They did it. I'm not too sure how many shots they actually had. Uh, I think they only had one really on target first half, and that was the one that went in. It was from us playing a square ball. I hate square balls. Talk to them all the time about it, but there's no way he still should score. You know, we give the ball away in the, around the halfway line, so there's still a long way to goal. But uh, he, he gets his moment because we're we're ascending. Nick's trying to come and attack because we've just turned over possession. So as we give the ball away, we're now open. If we don't give the ball away, we're okay. So uh, it happened, and they 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 hurt us at that point, but. We couldn't hurt them when we had a lot more chances than them. It's those gifts. Is that another gift, would you say, that we've given them the, the opportunity to go and get that goal? No, I think that's a little bit a bit harsh. I think I think that <laughs> the goals uh, against Cambridge and uh, Oldham were they were definites. Uh, I would suggest that that's just that happens in football, doesn't it, in League Two? I, I mean, how many players you see Scunthorpe give the ball away and we turn it over and play and. Ethan comes on the inside, it's a, a curly, everybody stands up, thinks it's gone in. Uh, Aaron's header, first duck is blocked on the line, comes back to him. Uh, ref gave a lot of uh, soft fouls. And like I said in my interviews, in the current circumstances, with no crowds, it is so frustrating going behind, dominating an opponent, having more chances, more shots on goal, more possession, and still having to deal with three and a half minute goal kicks and how many minutes the ball goes out of play to take a throw you know, against us. So that's, that's very frustrating actually for the players uh, and obviously of course me because I want to uh, represent Carlisle winning football. How do you deal with the frustration the lads are bound to be feeling right now in that dressing room? Well, I just said to him really, Scunthorpe's opportunities really didn't come through Scunthorpe. They came through even uh, a diagonal pass that we can deal with and our defender a bit clean in his work. Um, we didn't play bad, we represented well, um, but ultimately we've lost, but it's them little things really. I can't, I can't recall interplay or being passed around or that wasn't happening today. And you know, you've said it so many times, it's important to turn those moments, those, those little incidents into our favour going forward. Oh yeah, we see what happens last week, so you get, you know, we could have quite easily scored that first goal and quite easily have won the game today by a clear scoreline, but it's we didn't. It's important to focus on those positives. Well, yeah, of course it is. You 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 you, you look to play football the right way, represent your situation the right way. Um, but to be honest with you, I wish we'd play a little bit worse, not have as many chances, and score more goals. Again, your your key player is missing. How do you deal with that? Well, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? Because you want continuity and you want rhythm. We've talked about it a lot because the lads have missed a lot of football. Um, you know, not not just with pre-season, but the break before they've come back pre-season. So it's difficult for them, as it is us. So it's just one of them things. It's what your squad's for. But Ethan had a good game. Showed some good uh, moments. Um, Louis was twisting, turning, got his chance, a couple of chances. Constant set plays. Callum Guy's delivery was excellent on corners, really good. Um, yeah. 
you just deal with it. It's what, it's what football is. And for the fans who just see the 1-0 defeat, because that is, does happen with a lot of fans, what's the message to them? Well, we got beat. We were the better team. Doesn't really matter, does it? Thank you, time, Chris.